to Harvest Kids. Hello, we are so excited that you joined us for today's service. What's up with this banana? Oh, this banana? That banana. Well, what if I told you that today's Bible story was about a king called King Jeroboam, and I'm gonna illustrate the Bible story using this banana. Like. You're gonna draw with the banana? Oh, illustrate. <laughs> no, I'm gonna teach the Bible story and use this as an example to help the kids understand today's lesson. Oh, cause like he was a king, so like, we're like that? <sighs> well, before we get to the Bible story, we're gonna do a couple other things. Oh, wait, 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 are you, are you gonna call somebody? Are you gonna make a call to King Jeroboam? That's hey, not, what happened? That's Back not, there in that Bible story. That's not one of the things we're gonna do today. Instead, today, we are going to have a Bible lesson, we're gonna make a snack, we're gonna have some fun, play a game, and do some worship. So everybody right now, we're gonna start with worship. Stand up to your feet, wherever you're at, stand up and get ready to worship the Lord now. Can I have that? No, I need it. <laughs>
Hey boys and girls, welcome to today's Focus Up Moment. This is where we take time out of our day to change it up a little bit and focus on God and who He is. And today we're going to worship through singing a song. The song is called White as Snow. And the song talks about how God takes our sin and washes us clean white as snow. So this is a wonderful song. Uh, it's an old song, but it's a good one. So if you want, you can turn down the lights in your room or move to a different part of the room. And so you can change it up a little bit and really focus on worshiping God in this moment. White as snow, white as snow, though my sins were a scarlet, Lord, I know, Lord, I know that I'm clean and forgiven. Through the power of your blood, through the wonder of your love, through faith in you I know that I can be white as snow. Okay, now sing it with me. White as snow, white as snow, though my sins were a scar. I know that I'm clean and forgiven through the power of your blood, through the wonder of your love, through faith in you I know that I can be white as snow. Thanks for singing and worshiping with me in today's Focus Up moment. We'll see you next time. Hey kids, welcome to our game today. It's called Find the Banana. We're gonna take a picture of this banana right here and we're gonna hide it in different pictures of none other than bananas. Your job is to find the banana to point it out where it is. Let's get our first picture up now. Okay, so this is a banana, obviously. And can you see where we hid the little banana? We're gonna give you the answer where it is in three, two, one. There it is. It was hiding right under the peel, kind of blending in. Good job if you saw it. Let's get our next picture up now. And it is another clump of bananas. All right, do you see where the banana's hidden? I don't know. We'll see, it's pretty small. Okay, we'll give you the answer in three, two, one. It's right there by the stem. Okay, did you find that? Was this too easy? All right, maybe we'll make the next one a little bit harder. This is a lot of bananas. So many, hundreds maybe. All right, so we've hidden the banana and we're trying to see if you know where it is on this photo. Look high, look low, and three, two, one. It was outlining one of those green bananas. Did you find it? Okay, that one was a little harder. Let's get our next picture up now. Well, this is a plain picture. How could this one possibly be hard? Well, the banana's hidden here somewhere. So, we are gonna give you the answer of where it is. Look high, look low, left, look left, look right. And three, two, one, it is at the very end of the banana, kind of hugging the end right there. It was kind of blending in, I don't know. All right, well, let's get to our next slide now. Okay, these are some just ordinary bananas. Where is the banana hidden? I don't know. But we're gonna tell you in three, two, one, there it is, hidden in plain sight. All right, good job, everybody. Let's get our next slide up now. Okay, we switched it up on you on this one. This is sliced bananas on toast with Nutella chocolate. All right, do you see where the banana is? Oh, we're gonna tell you now. Kind of hidden in three, two, one. We hid it in the bite of the bread. Did you see that? Okay, I, I bet you did. Try to make it a little harder. Let's go to image number seven now. Okay, this is silly. This is a pink banana. All right. Well, there is a banana hidden within this banana and it's very faint. You're gonna have to look really hard. All right. In three, two, one. We tricked you. It wasn't in the banana at all. It was up in the corner. Did you see that? It was really faint. All right, we'll go to the next slide now. Here we go. Okay, this is a dog wearing banana pajamas, eating a banana, and we've hidden a banana in this picture. All right, we're gonna give the answer of where it is in three, two, 
One, it was hidden in the banana pajamas. Good job, everybody. Let's get our, almost our last one. Here it is. These are not ripe bananas on the tree. These are really green. So we've hidden a banana in here. Let's see how good you are at finding it. Okay, in three, two, one. There it is. Was that easy? You found it. I bet you, you knew where that was. That's a good job. Okay, now we're gonna get to our last image right now. This is a huge, clump of bananas. I've never seen one this large with so many bananas attached to it. At the grocery store, I'd freak out. Wow, look how many bananas there are. All right, so we've hidden a banana here and it's your job to find it. Let's see if you can. In three, two, one. We hit it right on top, in the middle. Did you see that? It was hidden well. And so good job if you saw that. Well, thanks for playing our game today called Find the Banana. We'll see you next time for another fun game. But in, until then, signing off for now. Bye. guys, I'm Jackie, and today we're gonna be unboxing the Bible. If you're not sure what unboxing is, it's like when you get a new present or package in the mail and you open it up to see what's inside. But what we're opening today is even better because it's God's Word. So let's find out what our word is for today. I-D-O-L-S, idols. Our word for today is related to our memory verse, which is 1 John 5, 21. And it says, Dear children, keep away from anything that might take God's place in your hearts. Oh, cool, that's what an idol is, something that takes God's place in our heart. So let's read that again together, okay? 1 John 5, 21, and it says, Dear children, keep away from anything that might take God's place in your hearts. All right, good job, you guys. We're gonna learn more about what an idol is today in our lesson with Mr. Mike, so pay attention now. Hey boys and girls, welcome to our Bible lesson today. We are in the book of 1 Kings and we're talking about a king named Jeroboam. And Jeroboam did not give God his best. No, he made mistakes and he chose the wrong decision time after time. I wanna talk about giving our first fruits to God. We have been given everything from God and we're supposed to give him the best parts of our things and our time and our treasures. But when we make mistakes and mess up and don't put God first, what happens? Well, okay, so the first fruits, the best part of this banana would be to give God the first part of this banana. But if I make a mistake and go against God, like on Sunday, you have a full banana, like maybe it's money, and on Monday you're like, oh, I'm gonna go buy a video game or buy some ice cream. Oh, you took a little bit of what was God's, you made the wrong decision, and now what's left? So now it's Wednesday, halfway through the week, you haven't given to God, still you're making the wrong choice, and you really wanted a snow cone. And so you went to the store and bought a snow cone with your money. So now what's left? So now it's Friday, and your parents told you to clean your room. And all day they kept reminding you, you know you gotta clean your room. And at the end of the day, it's nighttime, it's time to go to bed, and you never cleaned your room, so you disobeyed. And then you're like, I'm sorry and all you're giving is your apologies. So now it's Sunday morning and you sleep in and you're saying, oh, I missed church. At the end of Sunday, what do you have left? All you have left is a banana peel to give to God, the leftovers. And that's the wrong decision because we should be giving God our first fruits and the best parts of us. Let's get rid of this. So here we are in the book of First Kings and we are reading about a king named King Jeroboam. Can you say it? Jeroboam. That's right. He was one of the kings of Israel. He started thinking that his people would worship God far away on another land where there was another king. And he didn't want his people to go and leave his land. He wanted them to stay. So instead of sending them away, he built them idols, big golden statues for them to worship on his own land. And this was against God. God was the one that got the people out of Egypt and he freed the Israelites. And King Jeroboam, he wanted the, them to worship idols. Did the golden images get them out of Egypt? No, the one true God did. This was a big mistake. And Jeroboam did not make the right decision over and over 
and over again he disobeyed God. And what was the result? Well, we read in 1 Kings that even after being disciplined and told from prophets, Jeroboam, you need to follow God, he still did the wrong thing. So even after all this, Jeroboam did not turn from his evil ways. And it goes on to say, this became a great sin and resulted in the destruction of Jeroboam's dynasty from the face of the earth. So because Jeroboam didn't turn from his evil ways, eventually his kingdom crumbled. He was no longer king and he died. So what can we learn from this boys and girls? We can learn that we need to make the right decisions, the right choices, and it starts with our first fruits. We need to give God our first attention of the day. What happens if we go through every day and we don't read our Bible and we disobey our parents and then maybe on the weekends, on Sundays, we complain, I don't wanna go here, I don't wanna do anything. And then at the end of Sunday, what do you have left to give to God? A full week of complaining, right? No. We should make the right decisions. We should give to God the best parts. So maybe when you first wake up in the morning, maybe you should pray and say, God, be with me today, strengthen me. I love you, Lord, thank you for creating me. Hey, that's a great morning prayer. And you can read something in the Bible or have your parents read it to you. And that would be awesome too. But one thing we know is that when we make mistakes, the Bible calls that sin, right? Sinning against God. And sin leads us away from God. And the more that we make mistakes and we, we never turn from our bad ways, we live our own lives. But Jesus was the example of living for God the Father. Jesus made the right choices. He was not selfish and he prayed to God the Father. And that is our example of how to live. So when we read in the Bible about Jesus, we can aim to live like Jesus, make the right decisions and serve others and pray to God and we can read God's word to us. And so by doing that, we can learn how to make the right choices. Also by reading the Bible, we can learn about the wrong choices so we don't do those like King Jeroboam. That is what I wanna tell you today that I hope that you make the right decisions. You give God the best parts of yourself. Maybe in the morning when you're awake rather than just at the end of the day, you're tired and, and you have no time left for God. We should give him the best parts of our day. So thanks for joining me in our Bible story today about King Jeroboam. And would you pray with me now? Dear Lord, thank you so much for your word to us today. Lord, I pray that you would help every boy and girl listening to this message today, that they would give you their first fruits, that they would give you the best parts of their day and not make bad decisions that go against you, God. We want to follow Jesus and follow his example of what we read in the Bible. So strengthen us and be with us. We love you and we want to make good decisions. Um, so bless every boy and girl in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And thank you for joining me in our lesson today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>and welcome to snacky time. All right, so we were talking about a banana earlier. So I had to make a snack with a banana. And I was thinking, you know, there's usually bananas around the house. Sometimes cuties, sometimes grapes, sometimes yogurt, and sometimes granola bars. And I thought, what could I make with just stuff I already have? So I thought I would make a banana split, but with yogurt instead of ice cream. Ooh, this sounds good. This is a banana split mom will say yes to for sure. So I'm gonna take my banana. This is a huge banana. I'm gonna cut it in half this way, and then I'm gonna peel it. And now I'm going to split the banana in half long ways like this. So we have our banana cut open like that. And now I'm going to take my yogurt. I like the Greek yogurt. It tastes really good and it's kind of thick and creamy and it has a lot of protein in it. So it's really good and healthy for us. Glop some right down the middle. And this is a good snack to share with a sibling or friend or parent. Now I'm going to peel one of my cuties. I love peeling these. Okay, I have my peeled cutie and I'm gonna open it up and just put a couple of pieces in just for some extra refreshing fruit deliciousness. Now I'm gonna take my grapes and I'm gonna actually cut a few of them in half. So make sure you get an adult to help you with this part because grapes will kind of roll right off the table. So I'm just gonna do a few little cuts. Look at that. Oh, 
And I'll put the grapes on here. Now, if you don't have grapes or oranges, you can use blueberries or raspberries or strawberries, cut up slices of an apple. We're just basically putting fruit together with yogurt and a banana to make our healthy banana split. And now I'm going to take my granola bar. So maybe you don't have granola at home, but maybe you have a bar. And what we're gonna do is break it up into little pieces and crumble it over our split like that for a little crunchy, sweet topping. I like to mix textures. So we have a creamy texture of the yogurt and the banana. And then we also have the crunch of the grape and of the granola. Yum. And this one has chocolate in it. So extra bonus for this one. And now it's time to try our banana split, our yogurt split. I don't know what to call it, but I think it looks delicious. Look at that, put it on a plate. You could put it in a bowl, whatever you like. You could even put it in a cup and have your banana sticking out the sides there. That would actually look really fun. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little bit of yogurt. I'm gonna get a cutie piece of banana. All right, ready to take a bite? One, two, three. Mmm, that is so delicious, so refreshing, healthy, but really, really yummy. So I wanna see your creative banana yogurt splits at home. So take a picture, post it on Instagram, and tag us at Harvest Kids Live so I can see your banana split creation. Well, I'm gonna go finish this now. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. A banana peel lying around after your Bible lesson, Mr. Mike? I did. I'm so sorry. Did you get hurt? No, I'm okay. Ugh. Well, I'm so sorry that I littered and left the banana peel there. I guess I wasn't doing what God wanted me to do. Boys and girls, we learned in our Bible story today that King Jeroboam didn't do what he was supposed to do either and he got in big trouble. And I don't wanna get in big trouble when I make mistakes, so I, I gotta ask God to forgive me, but I also wanna ask Jackie to forgive me. Will you forgive me for leaving my banana peel on the ground? Sure, why not? Oh, that's so good. Well, thanks for joining us today, boys and girls. We had so much fun playing with you and learning with you. And if you guys wanna check out more of our awesome services, make sure you follow us on YouTube at Harvest Kids Live and click subscribe. And make sure you follow us on Instagram at Harvest Kids Live. Well, we love you guys and we can't wait to see you next time. Bye. Bye.